As an introduction, my name is Leonard Ross. I am the Vice Principal and Computer Teacher at Madison Campus. This August will be my ninth year at Madison Campus. I did not go to school to be a teacher. I believe God has led me to be a teacher in the second half of my working years. My philosophy of Christian teaching statement gets its roots from Matthew 19.14. I believe God put me through training for my eventual teaching career. My older brother had 10 kids. I have one daughter of my own. I was a lower grade Sabbath school teacher, a Pathfinder director, a classroom dad that went on all the field trips. I tell some of my history because my philosophy comes from my life. I grew up in the Adventist church. My family was Adventist. My friends were Adventist. I believed it and I practiced what I was supposed to, but I didn't really become an Adventist until later on in my life. At our school, there is probably a Bible in every student desk. How often does it come out? Not sure. Probably in every Bible class. I think the Bible should come out and be related to almost every class there is. There are places in there for math, even computers. I have two passions. One is kids and one is computers. Being the computer teacher, those two go really well together. My students have a hard time understanding what it would be like not to have computers in their life. Microwaves, cell phones, VCRs, DVDs, flat screen TVs. When I grew up, I didn't have any of that. My goal as a computer teacher is to teach the students how to protect themselves and give them skills that will, they will need as an adult. The world is not getting better, it is getting worse. When computers first came out, no one knew what a virus was. Now there are so many variations on that that a person get a virus by just being on the internet. I grew up during the time when we did not lock our doors at night. Now at my house we have an alarm system, security cameras, locks, and two very large German Shepherd dogs. I do not think a person's philosophy jumps from one to another. I think it changes over time and hopefully for the good. In my computer classes I do my best to get the students to learn how to learn. Not to just memorize. As an example, while teaching Microsoft Word, I may ask the students to turn bold on and they cannot use their mouse. When I was in school, the teachers constantly had us memorizing data, such as capitals, presidents, and dates. I know that the regular classes still do. But for me in technology, what needs to be learned is the how to find the information. There is two parts, where to find data and how to tell if it's correct or real. Two words that I constantly hear on the news is fake news. With technology, it is a little harder to relate it to the Bible. One way for me is to find data and is the data real. With this skill, the student is able to search out information about the Bible or God, then see whether it is real. We are Christians are to seek God. I want the students to know that there are false gods and they are very convincing. My top priority is to get the students to understand that too much stimulation is not healthy. It is like eating too much candy. It might taste good, but too much is not healthy at all. That is why I even have computer class sometimes without computers. One of my favorite classes is comparing the human brain to a computer brain. Knowledge and learning is a two-way street. When I was in school, it was only a one-way, from the teacher to the student. I do not want to teach to show the students that I know more than them. I want the students to understand that I have had more classes, and more importantly, I have lived longer than them. Life in itself is education. The most important trait a teacher needs to have is patience. No matter what a student does or says, 
That teacher has to have patience. Without patience, we as teachers cannot show Jesus to the students. Ephesians 4.2 Be always be humble, gentle, and patient. Show your love by being tolerant with one another. 1 Corinthians 13.4 Love is patient and kind. It is not jealous or conceited or proud. All of us as teachers have our strengths and weaknesses. With God and our fellow teachers, we can bring students to the feet of Jesus.